Welcome or welcome back to Y Gaming for some more on Dead Island 2 and their most recent expansion, Sola, which at the time of release in this video releases tomorrow on the 17th of April. It releases around 4 pm UK time, so pretty damn early. Exciting, I'm looking forward to this one. And they've just released a new trailer. This is a minute long and goes over the basics of our home camp inside Sola. So it's definitely going to be taking us to a new map. And we've also seen some bits and bobs around the camp that showed that this is going to be a pretty big DLC. Definitely a lot bigger than the house DLC. That's going to be a shorter video than usual. We'll have a look at the trailer and then we'll break it down and see what we can spot in there. If that sounds good to you, subscribe to the channel and stick around. We'll be covering the Sola expansion as it releases and going over loads of tips, tricks and guides if there's any decent bits on there, like collectibles and stuff like that. If there's anything you want to see on Dead Island, let me know in the comments down below. We've already got a beefy playlist for it, which is in the top right hand corner. So let's have a look at this new trailer. One rave at a time. Looking for some sustainable luxury lodgings for this summer's FOMO event? Recycled, upcycled, and totally trashable. This characterful abode has everything you need for evasive operations. Conveniently sited at a prime location within the Sola grounds, you'll have easy access to all the ethical carnage the festival has to offer. Put up your feet, put on your tinfoil hat. The rustic interiors are spacious and equipped with all the paranoid chic any prepper could need. And there's even a discreet basement for you to work on personal projects. So, transport yourself back to an era of microfilm and wood paneling with this artisanal sanctuary for the most discerning conspiracy nuts. Now I think overall the setting looks really cool. All the massive stages and everything that we can see all around, it looks like this is going to be a massive, massive map. But then the main point of the video is the safe location, which is going to be like several areas that we've come across over several districts. And this looks pretty beefy itself. As you can see around it, lots and lots of land around there, which is obviously going to branch off into separate areas, the stages, the pools and stuff like that that we've seen. And inside here is going to have everything and anything that we need. Now, as we can see here, pretty big as is, and then there's a second entrance to the basement. There is one that's also inside. And as cool as the rest of it looks, the basement is really going to be where we're working on magic and everything that we need to actually get our hands on to help us slay zombies is going to be located down there. Everything up top looks cool. Looks like there's going to be a few collectible and gatherable pieces there that we're going to be using for crafting, which is quite helpful having a nice chunk of those readily available. And then we've also got a mission board, which obviously, well, plans in itself. And then as you can see in the top left, there is what looks to be the solar map. So I'm assuming that this centerpiece here is where our base is going to be. And then we've got these four areas that branch off, five, sorry, that branch off. And then the main area, which is what we can see around the compound. This is what I reckon anyway. Then we've got the other usual stuff, such as the fast travel map, which will take us back. Now, that in the top right-hand corner, I don't know if that's going to become the solo location, or whether it's just going to be a completely separate bit, and this just takes you back to the main game. And then in the basement, even further, we've got the usual stuff, the crafting bench. Now, as we can see here, we've already seen a couple of the blueprints, and these two are of the saw blade baseball bat. And then, as you can see at the top there, that is the same again. So not too much detail in there, but we have seen the size of the map. It looks massive, pretty damn good. I'm excited for this one. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Sorry, this is a short video, but we'll be back in full swing tomorrow with some more Dead Island and the Sola DLC. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and stick around for much more content. And if you're a fan of games like Fallout and Starfield and Bethesda titles in general, check out our second channel. We cover that there and upload at least three times a week. Thanks for watching. I've been Wired. You've been awesome. And we'll see you in the next one.